Good morning, dear students. How are you today? Hope you are fine. Okay, so today we are going to complete the story. So we will start with the chapter two. But first of all, I'm going to يعني, make you remember what happened in chapter one. So please go and get your story, Alice in Wonderland, and I'll wait for you. We are going to start with chapter two. But first of all, what happened previously in the story? Previously, Alice felt very bored. She saw a white rabbit was talking to himself and he jumped to a big hole and Alice jumped after him. She fell and fell and fell and fell asleep. And then she was on the room, in the room. This room was including a glass table and on this table was a gold key. She tried the key on every door in this room, but it didn't open any one of them. Then she saw a small bottle called Drink Me. When she drank this bottle, she became smaller. And then she opened, she found the door of this key, so, but she couldn't reach the key from the table. So she found a cake called Eat Me. So she ate the cake, she got taller and taller. She could reach the key, but she couldn't get smaller again to open the door. So the rabbit, he fell from the rabbit, a fan and a gloves. She wore one of these gloves and she started to get smaller again. But she wondered and don't understand what is happening. That was previously in chapter one. So let's read chapter two and check the new events. In chapter two, please, all of you open page seven. I will start to read for you. What is happening to me? Thought Alex. She had to get out. She ran to the garden door again, but it was shut and the gold key was on the glass table. This is very bad for me, Alice thought. I have never been so small before. And as she spoke, she slipped and fell into a pond of salt water. It's the sea, she thought at first, but soon she saw that it was a pool of tears, her own tears. Why did I cry so much? Alice said as she swam. It will be so strange to drown in my own tears. Just then she heard something splashing in the pool. At first she thought it was a hippopotamus, but when she went near she saw a mouse. Oh, mouse, I'm so tired of swimming in this pool. She said, finally, the mouse just looked at her and didn't say a word. It probably doesn't speak English, Alice thought. So she decided to speak French and she said something about cats. <clears throat> Please turn the page on page eight. First, the mouse got scared and then it got angry. I don't like cats, it said in a loud voice. Don't be angry, mouse. Not all cats are bad, Alice said. I must show you my cat, Dina. She is wonderful. She sits by the fire and she is nice and soft and she catches mice. Oh, I'm sorry. I must not say things like that to you. The mouse was shaking with fear. We will not talk about cats again, I promise, Alice said. Let's talk about dogs. Do you like dogs? The mouse didn't answer. I know a farmer and he has a very clever dog. It's brown and has long curly hair and kills rats. Oops, I'm sorry, Alice said, but the mouse turned and swam away. Mouse, come back, Alice called out. The mouse swam back to her. Let's go out of the shore. It said. Alice swam out of the shore. The pool was not full of strange animals, and many animals came out on the shore with her. By the way, the shore, it's by the seaside or the beach. He, there was a dodo and an eaglet, a duck and a parrot. They were all very wet. How can we get dry? Alice asked. We will have a race, the doo-doo said, and drew a circle in the ground. Everyone started running inside the circle. 
Half an hour later, they were all dry. Next page, number nine. Then the mouse said, come sit down. I'll take, I'll t sorry, I'll tell you my story. It's a long and sad tale. Yes, of course, it is a long tale, said Alice, looking at the mouse's tail, but she, but why is it sad? Oh, you are just annoying, said the mouse and walked away. Come back, said Alice, but the mouse kept walking. I wish my cat Dina were here, Alice said. She would bring him back. She is great at catching mice and birds too. When the animals heard that, they got very scared and found an excuse to leave Alice. Sorry, to leave. Alice was alone again and felt very unhappy. Suddenly, she heard the footsteps. It was the white rabbit looking for his gloves and fan. Marianne, go get my gloves and fan quickly, he said to her. He thinks I'm his maid, Alice thought, as she ran towards the rabbit's little mouse. And that was the story, chapter two. Please, all of you, check the presentation with me. It's chapter two, Alice in Wonderland. The next slide is the main points of the story we read. Alice slipped and fell into a pond of salt water. Alice and the mouse had the first conversation in her pool of tears. Alice talked to the mouse about cats and dogs. Alice had a race with the strange animals on the shore. Alice was alone again because she was cruel to the animals. Next slide. I'll start to answer the questions with you. Why did Alice speak French to the mouse? Because the mouse didn't reply to her when she spoke English. So she decided to speak French and said something about cats. Number two. Why, will, why, sorry, we will not talk about cats again, I promise. Comment again. Who said these words? To whom and why or when or where? So these words were said by Alice to the mouse when the mouse got angry when she talked about her cat Dina and said that she catches mice. Then the mouse was shaking with fear. Number three, what did Alice see in the pool? Alice saw a mouth, then she saw a doo-doo, an eaglet, a duck, and a parrot. Next slide. Number four, why did Alice fall alone again and unhappy? Unhappy means she was sad. Because she was talking about her cat Dina in front of the mouse and the other birds. They got very scared and found an excuse to leave so Alice felt alone and unhappy. That's for the question. Let's check the complete number one. Alice ran to the garden door again, but it was shut and the golden key was on the glass table. Number two, Alice's cat was great at catching mice and birds too. Yes, correct. Number three, the rabbit thinks Alice is her is his sorry maid. He told her to get the gloves and the fan. And those were the questions that covers chapter two. See you next chapter. Bye bye.